Hello friends, first let me just say how sorry I am that I'm late with my post here, and that I'm not able to share with you how I celebrated my guinea friend's belated birthday. Unfortunately I didn't get to record any footage for it, but I did enjoy some yummy snacks and I did wish my dear friend Lenny the best for her special day. As you probably have realized by now I have indeed retired and I am now enjoying my afterlife. Look how small I once was. Today I thought I'd share with you some of my most memorable and favorite adventures as I get to relive them all from the big clouds in the sky. I don't want anyone to be too sad for me as I lived a very happy and productive ratastic life during my time in the physical world. And I trust that no one will leave my human mama any harsh comments because regardless of what anyone else thinks, she gave me the very best life a rat could possibly have. The day I met her just a few short days before the footage you see before your eyes here, she could have very easily just passed by me, but she didn't. Mama saw me all by my lonesome, and she was like, well that's not right. And so even though she was already set to take to other brother ratties, she took me too, and she did everything she possibly could to get us all to be able to live and play side by side together, but as Mama was warned, there was a reason for why I was all by myself. I was always very territorial and even though mama took introductions very slow with me and my other ratty friends, we just weren't meant to share space while in the physical world. In fact, I'm not proud of this, but when it came time for us to attempt to play together, mama never thought about Ziggy or Skinner possibly getting injured. She had only worried for my safety. I was so much smaller than them at that time and there were two of them, but I took them both on N1. I regret doing so because it obviously wasn't nice, but I bit Skinner leaving him with a deep cut on his side that took a long time to heal. To learn more about that incident watch the video shown above. I even accidentally bit Mama as she was breaking us up and she bled a lot. I've never tried to be mean, I was only trying to protect myself and my space. I never meant to hurt anyone, luckily my friend Skinner was okay and he didn't slow down at all. Mama took real good care of him and while he and Ziggy were with us we enjoyed each other's company from afar. Mama always told me how stunning I am, she was super excited this day. This was one of my first ever play sessions. We kept it simple and Mama took turns with us letting us all explore and getting some handling time in with her, I was so excited on this day too. I was always a little nervous about the initial pickup whenever it was time for me to come out, but I always enjoyed receiving all the love and attention. I sure got a lot of love and attention too. I always got to have the best adventures. I always had a rat-tastic good time, I love adventure time. I especially loved our summer adventures, I'll always cherish these precious memories. This first time I got to play in the water was so much fun. Felt like the luckiest rat and look how big I got in just a matter of a couple short months. Water can be so much fun. I got to watch Ziggy and Skinner having their first water adventure when I got done mine and it was even more of a rat-tastic time because it was like I got to do the adventure again. We might not have been able to play side by side but we sure loved adventuring together from afar and we're playing together now in our afterlife. I always got to enjoy yummy treats no matter what, but whenever I had an adventure, I got even more yummy treats, and the best part was always that I didn't have to share them with anyone. I was always such a good boy, mama could always count on me to stay in my play area, she could even leave the room knowing I'd still be in my play area when she got back. I of course did sneak off a few times, but only once did I not alert her to tell her I was doing so. I always loved to explore but I also loved staying safe and with mama was always the safest place. Hello. I might not have been willing to share my space with other rats, but I always enjoyed being friendly with my human family. I loved to entertain my human mama and I absolutely enjoyed listening to everything she ever said. I loved staring at her while she was talking so she would know I was very much interested in everything she was saying. I also loved making sure she was watching me whenever I was adventuring. Do you see Ziggy and Skinner in the corner here? I wanted to make sure you got proof that I indeed did have ratty friends even though we didn't get to play side by side. Skinner and I would sometimes try to get each other through the bars of her mansion. I lived upstairs and they lived downstairs and mama had to block off the one corner because Skinner nipped my nails a couple times but we still loved each other. Oh yeah, my first Halloween was extra ratastic. Of course, I enjoyed my second Halloween as well, but there's nothing like that first time experience. Not sure how mama could afford it, but she had bought all of us ratties, 
guineas, and hamsters all kinds of possum stuff. We got so many yummy treats, special Halloween dental chews, toys, chews, themed blankets and whatnot, and play stuff for our adventures. I love Halloween and guess what? We're past the halfway point for this year's Halloween. I look forward to joining my family from beyond the great beyond. I always loved peeking to see what Ziggy and Skinner had in their house. Mama always made sure everything was equal so none of us would ever feel left out. Not to brag, but I am the best chewer, and I'm sure nobody who comes after me will be able to break my chewing records. Mama always said that out of all the hammies, guineas, and ratties Mama ever had, I was the best chewer and nobody ever came close. I had strong healthy teeth. Since I always took excellent care of my teeth, I never went a day without being able to chew through anything, and I sure made good use of my skills. Did you see my Beetlejuice ramp covers? I'll be watching Beetlejuice Beetlejuice from the sky when it comes out and my family gets to watch it. My first ever Christmas was another big surprise for me because just when I thought Mama couldn't outdo herself she did, and Santa treated me very well too. I got to enjoy many ratastic Christmas adventures and I got such great presents. My first Valentine's Day was really special. I got to enjoy many love adventures, but this one was at the top of my list because it was so simple yet so perfect. We all got special strawberry treats, I think I might have been the only one to fully finish mine. We always showed each other love, and we honestly celebrated our love on a daily basis, but Valentine's Day was extra special. In fact, Mama only celebrates Valentine's Day for us. She says romantic relationships are a waste of time and the only love she cares about is the love she shares with her babies. I was always proud to be her Valentine. My first birth and gotcha day celebration was absolutely ratastic. I had several birthday and gotcha day adventures, and each one was extra special. I got the best DIY treats and we partied all night for several nights. It was a huge deal, especially because my ratty friends Ziggy and Skinner were turning too. My ratty friends and I were celebrating our first gotcha days, but they had turned two years old and I was just turning one. Our age difference might have played a factor in why we were never able to play directly together, but I've been territorial since birth and I had showed up all by myself at the place Mama had found me because I could never live with other rats. I like living by myself and wouldn't have had it any other way and Mama always respected that. I enjoyed many new toys for my first birthday too. I was always a very playful rat. It's too bad Mama forgot about most of these toys when I got to celebrate my second birthday and gotcha day the other week but I probably wouldn't have been able to play much with them anyway, and I had a rat-tastic celebration regardless. For those of you who have looked forward to seeing more of me each week, I thank you for all the attention you gave me. Special thanks to those of you who sent me best wishes during our summer nightmare last summer and also during my old age struggles. I always appreciated your kind words. I got to enjoy the Thanksgiving holidays with my family and every gratitude adventure was just perfect. I love my family and I am so grateful for all the wonderful times I got to share with them, I've always been a grateful rat. I was always a blessed little ratty from the moment I met mama because from that moment on I was able to trust that I would never have to worrying about where I'd find my next meal again, and I'd always receive good care. I'm grateful for many things. If you join me for any of my gratitude adventures over the past couple of years then you probably recall some of the things I've been grateful for. But if I had to pick just one thing that I am most grateful for then I'd have to say I am most grateful for my finding such a possum and loving family. I got to experience many rad things with my family. Even though I always had my own space, I was never alone. I was always well entertained by my guinea friends and my hammy friends have always enjoyed rolling past me to say hello. And as I mentioned, when Ziggy and Skinner were with us, I got to enjoy their company from a safe distance. Mama always loved carrying me around and giving me tons of love and attention. I'm grateful for all my adventures, new experiences, and how Mama never got upset the few times I did sneak away to explore. My second Christmas was absolutely ratastic. I looked forward to seeing a second Christmas all year and when it finally came I was so thrilled. We did some different things this past Christmas and it was just the best time. Santa Rat treated me very well and I was just incredibly happy with the gifts I received, as well as all the magic of the holiday I got to experience. Yeah. 
I even got my own little Christmas tree this past Christmas. Well I should really say a Ratmus tree this past Ratmus. Mama always made sure we all felt extra special and I definitely felt like a rat god because I literally got everything a rat could possibly ever want. Well I didn't receive a live forever pass, but that is okay because it doesn't exist. Receiving my nightly donut treat was always my favorite time of day. I quickly picked up on a routine when I first joined my family and once I had my routine, there was no messing with my routine because if anyone messed with my routine I'd become frustrated and someone might get bit. Mama always made sure my routine was not interrupted, I always appreciated that. I even got to party with my hammy friends as we celebrated Mistletoe's first birthday right after Christmas, she served the best birthday treats. Before I knew it, I was celebrating Valentine's Day again and getting a little more social media attention because well, let's face it, I'm totes adorable, I am one handsome guy. And I think people really appreciated the fact that I always did my best to look my best. Even after it became quite difficult for me to keep up with my grooming, I still always made sure I was looking fly for a white rat. We mainly used my baby food for medication times. I was receiving baby food, not because I was having trouble eating, but so I could get extra nutrients. Someone once claimed, Mama was filling my pellets in rodent blocks, just too much, and I just want to clarify that when you have an ill animal you should never limit their food supply. I've always enjoyed knocking my bowl over too, and not eating what I knocked out. Plus, when I got older if my dish wasn't full it was harder for me to get to the food. Special thanks to everyone who has ever joined me for an adventure. I appreciate your support. I want everyone to carry on and live every day to the fullest. Don't worry, though, I'll be watching over everyone from above, and I don't want mama to be without rats so I'll be sending some ratties to her soon and hopefully you'll show them some love. Thank you. Until we meet again friends, have a rat-tastic life.